Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be explaining polar form of Fourier series. Now see, in previous two sessions, you have seen exponential Fourier series and trigonometric Fourier series. And I have explained you relationship in between exponential Fourier series and trigonometric Fourier series. But one should understand exponential Fourier series and trigonometric Fourier series that is having components which is having somewhat symmetry. So when you have symmetricity, in that case we can use trigonometric or exponential where you can see in trigonometric Fourier series sine and cosine terms are there. So cosine terms that explains you even symmetry and sine terms that explains you odd symmetry. So there will be symmetry when you use exponential and trigonometric Fourier series. But when we don't have any symmetricity, in that case Fourier series for periodic signal we can have polar form. So if we don't have any symmetricity then to represent given periodic signal in Fourier series we should use polar form. So this is what we need to keep in our mind if we don't have any symmetry setting. In that case we represent given periodic signal in Fourier series by using polar form. Now what is that polar form? So I'll give you formula first. So see if I say I have function g of t so that I represent by dn plus summation varies from n is equals to 1 to infinity dn into cos of n omega 0 t plus theta. Now why it is polar? Here we need to calculate magnitude dn and phase theta n. So magnitude is been represented by dn and phase is been represented by theta n and coefficients are represented by actually dn. So this is what the basic thing which we need to understand here. Now see here if I say what is the relation in between that uh, trigonometric coefficients then we can have that like see d0 that we can represent as a0 an that one can represent as dn into cos theta n bn that one can represent as minus dn into sin theta n so an is actually dn into cos theta n and bn is minus dn into sin theta n in trigonometric so if you want magnitude so magnitude that could be calculated by mode of dn and that mode of dn is square root of one can see a n square plus b n square and phase that one can calculate here that is theta n and that is tan inverse minus see minus b n divided by a n so that is minus tan inverse b n by a n. So this is how in polar form we can represent given series and here this polar form has been utilized to represent a periodic signal in sorry periodic but not symmetric. So for anti-symmetricity periodic signal we can have Fourier series in terms of polar form and this is what the basic formula for it and one can compare that with trigonometric Fourier series even so that is how one can compare it. I hope that you have understood this. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
you can give your valuable suggestions definitely based on it in future you will be finding many more videos which will be solving your queries thank you so much for watching this video